All right, so I am here at Adepticon with Randall and Catalyst Game Labs. Of course, the Kickstarter just went live for Battletech Mercenaries. Uh, it's already funded. It's already doing incredibly well. It's over there over our shoulders, um, yeah. which we knew it was going to. Um, are, uh, so what awesome things can we expect from some, some stretch goals, do you think, from the Kickstarter as it goes? Well, first of all, we've blown through every stretch goal that we had. Like, it's, it's gone, right? You guys just demolished it, which is amazing. I mean, we, we knew it was going to be big, but the last Kickstarter, you know, three and a half years ago, did 2.6 million in 30 days. Mm -hmm. And I believe we're going to hit that in about another hour or two, which means in about six hours, we did the same thing we did in a month three and a half years ago. That's such a magnificent way to show the growth and excitement wow. and the player base, right? Oh, yeah. uh, uh, as you were just hearing, which we can't talk about yet, uh, we are in fact looking at, you know, is there some more stretch goals that we can carefully add? We want to not, part of the problem in the last Kickstarter is we're a little crazy, like, oh, we got to add another uh, stretch goal and that actually causes some problems. Mm -hmm. And we want to make sure not to add stuff that's actually going to delay it further because mm -hmm. there's more work that needs to be done. Um, so yeah, we're, we're working on that, uh, but this has just been a stunning day. In fact, we just hit 2.5 million. Wow. In, what time is it? It is, we launched at 10. So whatever time it is. Five hours ago. three o'clock. In yeah, five, five hours, hours, we hit 2.5 million. So just amazing. So I am a huge fan of a lot of the option rules you guys have added in with the last uh, couple, you know, the Kickstarters and the, and, the, and the various releases, how you first added in the option rules with the Mech Warrior cards, which are a lot of fun, and then added in the Force Organization rules, and now, of course, you've got the new the new uh, vehicle rules, yep. uh, for vehicle light rules coming in this new Kickstarter. Yep. I was just wondering if there's any chance that you'll be revisiting, um, for instance, the Force Organization rules, and if there'll be more rules for more different varieties of lances or stars? Uh, I think yes would be the easy answer to that. Um, we're finding, you know, we, <clears throat> golly, I've been doing this so long. <laughs> uh, and there was a, a a much older way of thinking of, you know, you put the rule out and then it's kind of locked in place and you can't do much with it, right? For, at least for a good chunk of time. <laughs> Uh, whereas we become a little softer in that. And so the vehicle rules that we have actually first appeared in the Battle of Tukia book that we did as part of the last Clan Invasion Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. And then there was a little expansion that we did with that in the Reinforcements box Clan Invasion. Uh, and then we took player feedback and all of that and then we're folding it into here, right? So we're, we're a little smoother and easier in getting your feedback in a much quicker time frame. Uh, you know, we're still talking a year or two, right? Mm -hmm. um, much quicker uh, time frame. Thank you. Great article. Thank you. Sorry, that was uh, Charlie with Polygon. He put out a fantastic article this morning for me. Uh, and so, yeah, I will continue to look at that. And the force building is really starting to take off. Like, it's really starting to get embraced by people. Yes. And so your feedback is going to help us make it better. I love the force building, and I'm me and personal. I would love to see a force building for the ambushers. I would love to see something for them, like maybe something that gave them um, reduced difficulty for jumping and, and hitting. And I would love to see one for um, for maybe rather than use points to do it to, to do the uh, abilities with the C three networks would be great. Nice. What do you, th you think I, possible? I, I, can, I think it's very possible. Absolutely. Awesome. Uh, also, quick. Now this is so you don't have to give anything away. Just personal. Personally, what mechs that are not already out in plastic, that aren't coming in plastic for this Kickstarter, what mechs would you personally love to see get the plastic treatment? Uh, so the first ones that come to mind are like the MechWarrior 4 mechs. Mm -hmm. uh, we haven't hit much of those yet, and they're just so much love and memory of MechWarrior 4, particularly MechWarrior 4 Mercenaries with all the Solaris action that's in there. Uh, another one that... Uh, I'm not sure how much of a home it would find for others, but the Word of Blake Celestial series of mechs. Oh, okay. The um, Seraph and... The Seraph and all of that. I, uh, Brent and I, it was like the first time that we really designed this to be a series, and to be cohesive, and the things that we were trying to do with it. And so I have a lot of love and memories for that, and I would, I would love to reach a point where we can put out a pack of those. 
Fair enough. That would be really cool. Get a word of Blake. Yep. Uh, word of Blake uh, level two pack going. Yeah, yeah. That, that would yep. be really slick. Uh, is there anything else? And I don't want. I don't want to push you to, to give away anything. Of course, that you can't give away. Anything you can't say. But is there anything just uh, really cool that people should be on the lookout for? Stuff that is coming uh, soon for BattleTech, or maybe once the release comes out for Leviathans also, which I also backed that Kickstarter as well. <laughs> Thank you very much. We're we're actually incredibly excited for Leviathans. Just starting with that one. Uh, all the STLs are now in hand. Uh, they've all been starting to feed off to uh, our manufacturers, so molds are underway. Like that's all progressing well. And and now that I actually get to take a little bit of a break, tiny break, uh, we actually can get back to the last bits of Leviathans, which is uh, working on the campaign boxes, the rules mm. for that. Uh, so for BattleTech, um, we actually have a couple of things that are a little more on the horizon that I'm excited about. One of them is uh, BattleTech Command, which has kind of popped up here and there. Uh, we showed it off to our Kerensky backers uh, last year. It is a kind of a battle of Westeros for those that have played that style of game. Um, it's that level of style of game and it's just incredibly fun to game, uh, fun game to play. Uh, and then my son and I have been working on a new modern Succession Wars game uh, for quite a while now and are hoping to bring that out in the next year or two. So so self-contained board games in the Battletech universe with a larger scale of the conflict. Yep. yep. I can't wait. That's going to be amazing. I well, cannot we, wait. Well, we've been doing that for a little while with Shadowrun, uh, okay. really trying to create an opportunity where we go, you know, I'm not, I'm not in the mood for the role-playing game, but I want to play something in the Shadowrun universe because I love that universe. Oh, I'll grab this game. I'll grab this game. All right? And so we want to now... Uh, do the exact same thing for Battletech, where you're like, well, I'm not quite in the mood for playing the tabletop, uh, not in the mood for the RPG, mm -hmm. but I'd love to grab, uh, you know, in fact, in the campaign, there's a Push Your Luck Dice and Card Game, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Encounters Battletech, which mm -hmm. is in that campaign, and then we want to do a board game, a card game, you know, again, we want to be able to paper the wall of Battletech onto it so you can, whatever mood you might be in, you can find a game for it. Very cool. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me today. You're very welcome. Thank and, you. And congratulations on <laughs> blasting past all of the stretch goals yeah, for your Kickstarter. Just, just amazing. Just amazing. Thank I'm, you. I'm going to go back as soon as I go home. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.